Today we're talking about the secret to rotating your hips in the golf swing. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, so the, the secret to rotating your hips. What's the secret, Jackson? Ooh, it's actually kind of not what you think. What do you think? I'm thinking less rotation of the hips. Less rotation yes. of the hips. So I think a, a big thing that we're seeing kind of taught, not to say there's anything wrong with it. Maybe in our system, it's not our preference. Correct. A big thing we're being seeing taught is very active rotation of the hip complex, active rotation of the pelvis, trying to twist these hips open through the strike. And let me get this straight. You're saying don't do that, right? Correct. Yes. So, so what should we do instead? So my thought process for me, and this is a feel for me, but we'll, how we can picture it is more so of an internal rotation of this femur. So I'm turning into this leg here and getting my upper body, my upper spiral, huh. rotating through first ah. versus allowing this to now externally kind of rotate this yeah, way. Yeah, because because when you when you externally rotate the femur like that, essentially you're breaking that relationship of the spiral line, right? So now we've, we've moved all of the active rotation into the hip complex, and now I'm probably gonna have to stall out and, and kind of thrust down yep. here at the, at the golf yep. ball. That's a pattern that we see with probably 90 plus percent of players, oh, right? Easily. <laughs> yeah. and, and a lot of it comes from this, whether it's a wanted intention or not, a lot of it comes from, I gotta rotate my hips, coach. That's what I, that's what I know yeah. I have to do. Yeah. But, but what really happens is, is we can think of the active movement of the pelvis is simply to just drop straight down yep. drop straight into the ground so if you just imagine a straight line coming out of your tailbone or your sacrum mm -hmm. it, we just want that that to go straight down in the ground yep that's all the pelvis oh. yep that's all the pelvis really does yep. is, is just drop and then the movement of the upper spiral or the chest or the ribs or whatever you want to call it right mm -hmm. that eventually is going to pull on Everything the pelvis around yep. yes yeah now i know a lot of people are going to watch this and say but but coach i see in all high level swings a separation yep. right of the hips from the upper body so so the reason that we see that separation is because as we are stretching our arms up into the right here as we're creating a big stretch across the arm lines and the spiral lines what we're doing is we're dropping into the ground as that happens as i drop you're going to see some separation, yes. right? You're going to see the appearance that the hips are opening before the chest opens. Yes. That is not something that we want to like not see, right? Correct. But I think what we're really after is what is the intention that actually creates the right pelvis hip action that yes. we're looking for? And in general, I think we can agree like this, this map of actively rotating the hips is not the intention that creates the movement no. that we're after. No. Um, so Jackson, why don't you hit one for us? Okay. I, I just want you to kind of demonstrate this breaking with the lead leg. So essentially, you're turning the upper spiral into the lead leg. Yep. Can you kind of show us what that might look like? Yeah, and a good feel that I would say I kind of have is, is we've posted on, on social as well of kind of these stepping drills, mm -hmm. stepping forward. Okay. So in a sense, that's kind of what I'm feeling is I step into that lead side or I kind of stack into that lead side with uh -huh. my joints. And now I'm feeling tension in this leg because I've put, inevitably put force into the ground. Okay. And I want to almost feel like I maintain that as I rotate and let everything release. Okay, so cool. That is what I'm trying to execute here. Once you send one, you hit driver about as good as I've seen anyone hit driver. So, okay. Well, now you tell I'll me, think. like, like decent one, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you actively rotate your hips? I tried to actively, well, not actively, but tried to rotate them as little as I possibly could. That's interesting, yeah. right? Like, I thought you were about to say you actively shut your hips. Almost. Right? Yep. Almost. That's the sensation mm -hmm. that he's creating there, like. He's preventing the hips from rotating open too early. He's actually keeping the pelvis and the hip complex shut for mm -hmm. longer, which then pretty much allows you to like rotate Just this upper spiral as hard as you want, right? Boom. Yes, huge. Here. That that look that you did, like it was Instagram video. I love this look where you're just hitting right through here. Yep. You're hitting, right? Most people don't have that ability to actually hit with their arms and hands, right. especially when they're ripping a driver because they've whacked out all of that ability with this early and active hip yep. rotation, right? Yep. So let's go ahead and see one more like okay. that. Up in here, backswing, 
as I'm transitioning now, now it's drop into that lead side, and now it's all that action. Ah, it's interesting. Like the arms like are firing across oh, yes. your body, right? Oh, yes. yes. That's cool, right? Well, it allows me now to also get the club head out. And I'm, I mean, I'm sure you see this all the time too. I see it a lot is when we, especially with driver, we go, oh, I want to hit this harder. Mm. So we go, I'm going to rotate harder ah, to hit it. Yes. But if we're thinking of how a wheel spins, the center of that wheel, the hub, is spinning slower than the tread. Oh. So why do I need to go harder here to get this out faster? Probably don't. You don't? No. No. So you're, you're getting the energy out of the club head mm -hmm. with this feel as well, yep. like actually fully releasing the club. Yep. Um, and, and when people, you know, early active rotate the hips, that's their map, they actually can't get the energy out of the club, right? Yep. It becomes like a drag show. Stuck here, yep. now you have no chance. That's no when chance. you stall out. Stall out, yep. flip it, hit hooks, blocks, gross. It ain't fun. It ain't, ain't fun. fun. It ain't fun. No. So don't <laughs> rotate your rotate hips. It. Are they going to rotate? A hundred percent, yes. But I think what we're after here is what intention creates the movement that we are looking for. Mm -hmm. The intention of active pelvis or hip rotation just just isn't doing it for most folks. So the pelvis, its job is to what? Drop. Simply drop, yep. drop into the ground. And then the movements that we make in the upper spiral control the golf club. To aid in this, you may actually have to feel that the hips stay a little shut for yes. longer, allowing yourself to move the upper spiral into the hip complex. Yep. That's actually a big sensation that a lot of people can feel is how shut to get yourself on the opposite spectrum if you're somebody that is an active thrower of the hips, an uh -huh. active fire, is how shut can you stay and how long can you stay there? Interesting. Yeah. You'll just start to find new ways of, of relating to this movement. It, yeah. it feels athletic. It feels oh athletic this way to really establish kind of a post, a, a brace mm -hmm. into the ground rather than just like spinning out all over the place. Yep. Yeah. So don't rotate the hips. Don't rotate them at all. Good stuff. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Super fun to make. If you like that one, we do have others. Mm -hmm. Click that subscribe button. Keep following us. Peace.